Hello and welcome to the Informatica session here at uh, Spark AI Summit 2020. My name is Rodrigo Sanchez Verde and what I want to talk to you here about today is how to modernize very quickly your uh, on-premise uh, or, or fully managed data lakes and potentially even data warehouses into Databricks Delta by leveraging Informatica. Let's actually start by talking about what the motivation for all this is. Uh, you know, I have experience actually building uh, machine learning products, uh, reinforcement learning uh, algorithms in uh, the smart thermostat industry. And, you know, it is a hard problem building out that code, finding the right model. It's, it's, an, it's in itself a, a, a really difficult problem. However, most of the effort actually doesn't go into the actual machine learning code itself. Historically, what we've seen is that it's only really the largest companies that are able to uh, create these successful projects. Uh, because it turns out that a lot of the difficulty comes in actually procuring the data, making sure you have the right data sets, that you have the right infrastructure built around your model that then allows you to essentially have that success, find that uh, successful implementation. So, you know, it's about collecting, verifying and preparing the data, configuring and managing that cloud scale, cloud scale infrastructure. That's really where the heavy lifting is. And so that's why, you know, we're seeing that uh, the difficulty really comes with the fact that you know, that procurement of the data, forming of the data, making sure that it's ready for the machine learning projects actually winds up uh, meaning that uh, data scientists spend up to 80% of their time preparing the data, finding the data, getting it, wrangling it to be in the right way, and a far less time modeling. Of course, the percentages vary depending on industry, but generally speaking, it is a huge time sink for data scientists. And uh, this is something that we're trying to help you automate and make a lot faster because we've been in the data management business uh, for a long time and we know how to do this very well at scale. The other thing, of course, is that, in our, uh, that we're seeing is that the, the volumes and, the, and, and the, uh, the types of data, the variety of data is increasing exponentially, which is essentially doesn't mean that the on-premise data is going away. If anything, it's also growing as well. So you need to have the ability to have uh, a true hybrid approach that allows you to essentially deal with the ingestion of the data from both on-premise applications, streaming sources, cloud sources, uh, uh, web logs, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, and you actually need to be able to do this at scale and very, very quickly. Uh, and you know, once you start actually getting into scale, you know, you're gonna run into the problem of risk management. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're provisioning data that is properly governed, uh, that it actually is the right data that is actually fit for use and how you determine that it's fit for use. So you need to have data lake governance uh, through cataloging and lineage, uh, along with process governance. I mean, how do you decide what gets moved into Delta? How do you decide who actually has access of the data in Delta? Uh, these are actually non-trivial questions that you need to make sure that you're able to answer. Uh, so you need to be essentially build trust of this data that you're provisioning to your data scientist. And finally, there's a lot of, uh, today, a lot of data engineers wind up sp uh, spending a lot of time maintaining a lot of code for what essentially is repetitive data pipelines for ingestion and processing. Uh, so you want to really automate a lot of that, you know, essentially use a visual zero coding approach uh, that is metadata driven that actually allows you to understand that lineage, allows you to understand the health of your platform very, very easily, uh, rather than spending a lot of time reinventing the wheel, trying to record everything else and finally, sorry, code everything by hand. And finally, you know, you also want to take, uh, you know, use the advantages of cloud, right? You don't want to uh, spend a lot of time capacity planning for essentially fixed resources on an on-premise uh, cluster, you know, you want to actually leverage the limitless capacity for compute and storage that you have available in the cloud and essentially scale up and down, scale out or in, depending on the workload, uh, without having to worry too much, without spending a lot of time negotiating resources uh, and doing a lot of capacity planning for that. So today what I want to get into a little bit more detail about sort of what are this, these three uh, legs of the stool that we've built together with Databricks. I'm trying, I'm going to try and take you guys down from high level 30,000 feet to 10,000 feet to ground level about some of the things that we do together. Um, and right now, as I said before, you know, we, we think of it as essentially being a three-leg stool where we first help you manage the data science lifecycle, making the data easy to discover, uh, but also help you with ingestion and finally help you build these data engineering pipelines uh, 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 in a very efficient way. So let's talk about ingestion first. So when you start on your database project, your Delta Lake is empty. You know, you need to fill it, you need to manage it, you need to govern and process this. And so Informatic can help, can help you easily ingest data from various cloud and on-premise sources, whether they, applicate, whether they are applications, databases, files, streaming sources, you can move all this data into the Delta Lake. We've really simplified the UI where it's actually, essentially, it's a very easy configuration, a couple of steps, maybe two or three uh, uh, screens, and you're up and running. You're moving data at scale into Delta. 
uh, yeah, we've tried to really get you sort of all the power of the Informatica platform in a very easy to use UI, again, for ingestion. Just get up and running, get this move data into, into uh, Databricks quickly. But that's not enough. Once you have the data in the lake, you need to transform it. You need to enrich it. You need to cleanse it. Uh, you need to have a way to do all these things in a repeatable way, in a way that doesn't result in a lot of uh, manual work. So you want to automate as much as you can. And so what we do essentially is give you this, this UI, this ability to create all these data flows uh, in a very simple drag and drop format without having to actually write any, any Scala code or SQL code uh, and essentially just submit it and push it down into, uh, into Databricks to run on either AWS or Azure. So this data-driven, metadata, sorry, driven approach uh, supports just better man manageability of your logic. It gives you the ability to upgrade to new versions of Databricks Spark without having to change your code and your APIs. Uh, it, it is DevOps ready, uh, it is multi-cloud ready, and it also supports your oper oper operationalizing, sorry, that, that, world, that, that world always uh, trips me up. It allows you to operationalize uh, your models, uh, your algorithms, uh, things such as models that you may have built in Python, you, uh, uh, you can actually embed them into this framework and have it run as part of your data engineering pipelines. So it's a truly agnostic and multi-cloud approach. But all of this doesn't work if you don't have uh, the right level of governance and the right level of discoverability. And so we support this data science lifecycle by using our enterprise data catalog for true end-to-end -end lineage. So that data analysts, data stewards, data engineers, uh, are able to trace the data lineage from the original source all the way down to the Delta table, to the data engineering pipeline, and to the predictions and to the machine learning code as well. Uh, so you have this holy grail of this end-to-end -end, uh, visibility into how the data is moving into Delta, how it's being transformed in Delta, who's doing what, uh, and so that uh, when the next round comes in of iteration, of improvement in all these data pipelines, you don't have to uh, spend a lot of time discovering it. It's all very easy to, to access and to view. Uh, and you know, our catalog itself is embedded with AI, uh, with our engine that we call Claire, that provides you advanced data discovery, lineage profiling, data curation. It integrates with a data governance and self-service data preparation right from the uh, catalog. So essentially what we ultimately want to do is provide you with an ability to essentially, without any code, with minimal operations, with no limits on the data, very quickly get your machine learning projects, your data science projects and analytics projects to be successful at scale. And I'm gonna show you some specific examples. Let me take it down one, level, one more level. Uh, this is just some screenshots of what's possible. So you see here on the upper left, what we call a mapping, which essentially is our representation of data flow. It's a very simple drag and drop interface where you, you move all these elements into, into a canvas, uh, and then you create the connections between these different operations that we, that we call transformations. Uh, but what I wanted to illustrate here is that the mapping that you see there on the upper left, if you had to hand code this, uh, you would actually spend a lot of time writing the code that you see there on the right if you wanted to use uh, Scala or, uh, or, or uh, Spark, Spark, Java for Spark, sorry. Or if you wanted to even write it in SQL, you can see it's, it's, it's not trivial. However, if you wanted to check the logic of the, uh, check the, make sure that the logic actually is sound, uh, understand that, you know, what it is that this code does, you know, in their visual, in, the, in their visual designer, it becomes very, very easy. And more importantly, as I said before, as, as the engine underneath evolves and you have revisions, we actually take care of that. So essentially we take care of uh, taking that mapping and converting it to the latest and greatest version of, of the Databricks engine uh, and submit it as a, as a Scala job underneath the cover so that you get, you get the best of both worlds. You get the ability to have uh, very fast, very, uh, very robust delivery of business logic as well as, man as, well as leveraging the, the uh, best, best in class characteristics of, uh, of the Databricks engine. And more importantly, we also help you with the operation of it. So this is an example of how you can create the workflow and orchestrate uh, all the way from uh, invoking the Databricks service, setting up the cluster, running the jobs, make sure that the data, verify that the data made its way correctly, and at the end, kill the cluster so that you actually don't incur costs for, for uh, unused capacity. Uh, so we help you both with the design as well as the, the, uh, the operationalization. And as I said at the beginning, you know, one of the other interesting elements that we have is the ability to do mass ingestion. So you can ingest data from various sources, uh, including relational tables, into essentially the Delta Lake uh, with minimal interfaces. All you have to do is point to the source, describe if you want to do any minimal transformations, maybe some filters, maybe some tagging. 
and essentially uh, load the data, including the ability to do accept uh, changes to the scheme, etc. as you move the data into Delta, but also move massive amounts of data in the form of files or also from streaming sources. And we essentially, what we want to do is give you the ability to do this very quickly, but also have the orchestration if necessary. We also are a big believer, actually, I, I was, uh, the, uh, before this role, I was a product manager for a streaming product and, and um, using the exact same interface that I, that I was mentioning before, to build your data pipelines. You can also build streaming uh, type of pipelines. Uh, and we are actually were one of the first out of the bat to support uh, Spark structure streaming way back in 2.31. And we keep supporting it. You know, we have actually the ability to support windowing based on event time. Uh, you can actually define a watermark for late event handling. So we've taken all these great characteristics of Spark streaming uh, and made it available in the same easy to use interface so that you can build both your batch as well as your streaming products in the single interface uh, uh, and make them work for you. And this is actually where you can also operationalize your machine learning models by essentially embedding them uh, inside a data pipeline. And so you get the both, best of both worlds. You can actually, the same place where you, where you use, that you use to build your data engineering pipelines, you can actually use to operationalize your, uh, uh, your machine learning models. And uh, the third leg of the stool, as I mentioned before, is our catalog. So with our catalog, you get, you're actually able to uh, uh, create a map. Uh, I like to think of it as a Google Maps of uh, how your data is flowing into Delta, how it's uh, flowing inside Delta, if I go to the next slide, and what the, what, essentially what the impact is of, of all these changes as you're moving the data so that when you're a data scientist trying to find the right data set to use in your uh, uh, in your work in your work every day, uh, it's a lot easier to understand uh, the validity and the fitness for use of the data by looking at the catalog. And so, if I wanted to paint the picture of uh, you know what it looks like in you know sort of the ideal architecture here, you know, Informatica's vision essentially is to deliver the most comprehensive end-to-end best-of-breed solutions uh, for the complete uh, modern data integration and big data problems. Uh, from ingestion to preparation to cataloging to securing, governing, and accessing the data, Informatica delivers all the critical capabilities for modern data integration and Delta Lakes. Uh, and so this end-to-end -end solution completely supports uh, Databricks. And, you know, we work hand-in-hand -hand with the Databricks team to make sure that as they bring innovations to market, uh, you can actually leverage them using the Informatica products. Make no mistake, trying to do this all on your own is just not productive, repeatable, or scalable. You really do need a comprehensive end-to-end -end solution powered by unified metadata management. In this machine learning-based brain that allows you and your teams to get out of complex, manual, siloed efforts of, integrated, of integrating data and start putting all your data assets to use immediately. And so just to round it out, so what have we learned today? Uh, well, you know, just like, data, just like Databricks has a single platform for doing data science and data engineering, uh, Informatica uh, is a single vendor for the three integrations for ingestion, for data transformation and governance. Uh, and if you wanted to talk about, okay, what do you need in order to build successful AI and ML projects and, and really fulfill the promise of those on-premise data lakes and modernize them into Delta, you need to be able to, as, as we talked about, you need to be able to find and discover uh, the data using a catalog and an integrated, integrated governance of that Delta Lake. You need to be able to accelerate the movement into that data lake. You need to be very nimble, very agile, and as you find more sources, very quickly move them into the, into the lake. You need to be able to prepare and enrich the data from all the available sources uh, before you start to model. You need to make sure the data is in the right form, and you need to create this data engineering pipeline in a way that's easily scalable and very repeatable, uh, so that, again, you spend most of your time on the machine learning models and less of your time in the, in the data pipelines. You also want to increase the productivity of the data engineers, again, by using this no-code, no-ops, metadata-driven approach. And finally, you want to go serverless, and this is where uh, our partnership with Databricks is so important to us, uh, because essentially you can create data pipelines on Databricks to take advantage of the increased flexibility, performance, and no limits on data that, that they offer. And we do have examples that are public. Takeda uh, Pharmaceuticals, they had a lot of data and functional silos because they had multiple platforms from a merger between uh, Takeda and Shire. They had uh, static Hadoop-based clusters that limited their data volume and required manual and time-consuming uh, management, which was actually slowing down in their, in their innovation and their speed to implementation because it was really hard to drive that collaboration. You know, what they wanted to do essentially is also lower the high cost of resources uh, because their compute did not scale up and down in response to the load. They also had a lot of uh, high cost of the uh, repeat purchase of data sets because again, it was uh, scattered all over the place. And the integration of Informatica and Databricks with Delta Lake on AWS has resulted in, you know, 75% faster cluster creation. 
uh, about 10x faster execution on benchmark queries uh, uh, from 28 minutes in some cases to six minutes, so order of magnitude faster. Uh, on average, their improvement speeds increased by, uh, by 30%. And essentially, uh, their productivity also increased dramatically by 30 to 50 percent by just having faster availability, being the, having the ability to execute a lot faster, uh, which all in the end is all, is all resulting in uh, significant cost reduction and performance improvements and significant cost savings by re-existing all these data pipelines that they had built using informatic abstractions into the, in, in, in their on-premise data lake and moving it into the Databricks Delta. Uh, so I want to finish off by saying that we are working hand in hand with Databricks as, as they offer these migration solutions uh, to move your on-premise data lakes and, and some customers are even talking about moving their on-premise EDW, Enterprise Data Warehouse, into Delta. It's a very strong technology offering and we want to do essentially is help you accelerate those efforts but also reduce the risk associated to those efforts. You, you kind of get the best of both worlds when you do that. So I hope this was useful to you, I hope this was interesting to you. Uh, we'd love to get your feedback of course. Uh, please rate the session and uh, look forward to hearing more uh, and also I hope you enjoy the rest of the session here at uh, Spark AI Summit. Thank you very much and have a good rest of your day.